Right, Tom, you started this year like you finished the last with two tries in the opening victory against Taunton. How important was that first away win? Uh, massive, I think. Uh, this, this year we're trying to, trying to improve our away form. Um, I think a couple of times last year we went away, I think without the support, I think we, we caved a bit. We didn't really stand up where we wanted to, so uh, it was a really good Saturday. Everyone stood up. I mean, the young guys, the new guys, they all, they all fit in well and played really well. Good to get the win. Last year you had some pretty big shoes to fill when you took over the number eight shirt, but 18 league tries certainly silenced the doubters. What areas of your game do you feel have most improved since then over the last 12 months? Uh, probably mostly game fitness, really. Uh, it's a lot different from coming off the bench for two, three minutes for, for her second row normally, not even a back row, to playing 80 minutes week in, week out. Um, I mean, it's been enjoyable, it's enough to play, but there's still a lot of areas we've got to improve on, but it's just good to play at the moment. Um, Dave Usher on Facebook asked, was there a story behind the uh, try celebration at the weekend? No, <laughs> no there wasn't, no. Uh, just got a bit excited, I think it was quite close until I scored. He pulled away a little bit, I just probably got too excited, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> didn't know what I was doing really. <laughs> the club having a, a star number eight seems to always create an age old warrior at Redreath. If you get injured, who's waiting in the wings to fill your shoes in the squad at the moment? I think there's a lot of good young players to be fair. I mean, uh, I mean Jake Raymond, who's on the bench, can play in the back row as well as the second row. I mean, Owen Foots can pretty much play anywhere. You've got Chris Bailey. I mean, then, and then you even got Luke Collins and Damien Cook who can jump back into six. So. Pretty well covered everywhere, really. I think this year we've got more strength and depth in the squad overall, I think. And I think it's, it's looking good. We can cover with injuries a lot better than last year, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of new faces in the squad this year. Who do you think's made the biggest impact from the new lads so far? I don't like a single one out. I think a couple of new boys. I think Fraser and Romy did, did really well in the backs on Saturday. I think they're a bit bigger, they look quick and they look strong. And it's nice to, uh, nice to go forward in the back sometimes. This weekend sees the Cornish All Blacks rock up at the rec for the big derby game. With the visitors still reeling after a surprise home loss to New Boys Chinna, what matters more, form going into the game or how well both sides know each other? I think it's always good to have a bit of form going into the game. Um, I think we're happy where we are now. I mean, I mean all the boys look, look excited to be here on a Tuesday ahead of the game, so it's nice to have that away win in the banks. But Launceston, they always seem to play 10 20 percent better against us, so I wouldn't really, I wouldn't go on much form in their last game. You scored the game-winning try last year. What does it feel like to be the one to clinch victory over our nearest and dearest rivals? And how much would you want to repeat that this year? <laughs> um, that felt good. I think Brett got the conversion to win it by two points, I think, in the end, so it was down to Brett's kick more than my try, but that felt good to score. But not really looking to score, just play my part, I helped the team win then that's all that matters. Outside of rugby, how do you like to relax? I don't really do much, to be honest. Uh, pretty much all my friends in rugby and my friends out of rugby, so don't really get away from it. Uh, films and... A little and, uh, bird on Twitter says you've just learnt to play the guitar. Not learn. Uh, <laughs> learning, learning, but it's harder than you think, so I think it'll be a fair few years before I get that, probably. <laughs> Talking of Twitter, most of the lads on Twitter choose names with their playing numbers. So, is Dunkey 11 your way of saying that you want to be a winger? <laughs> I'd love to be, actually. Uh, <laughs> might have less knocks in uh, Sunday mornings, but no, just something from school. I just kept it all the way through, really. It's it nothing like that. And uh, finally, today, Craig Bonds told the BBC you're a potential championship player. Where do you see your career going in the future? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really thought much past next Saturday, really. Uh, just looking forward to playing every Saturday. Uh, if I play well, that's what I enjoy doing, so I don't think about it too much. It's just, if something happens like that, it'd be great, but I'm happy at Red Roof for the time being, so just, just have a good season this year and see what happens. Brilliant. Best of luck, Tom. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.